Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Friday the 2nd of March. So looking at, um, actually started with the Euro dollar, there's some key levels here today, there's some large option expiries coming in through today and I'll just pop the, uh, three of them, ignore the, the bottom white line there, but the three lines there uh, where there's some significant uh, expiry levels and we may just, I mean we may dip through this this morning but uh, it'll be interesting to see where we close uh, well, I say close, where we end up uh, up until about 3 o'clock. Once 3 p.m. is over, well, uh, it's really the, these expire. So it'll be interesting to see how, we, how, how, how things develop today. Um, there isn't a significant amount of uh, euro news out today or dollar-based news out today. as needs are actually. <laughs> so uh, um, we're, we're, we're to the lap of the technicals. Um, we have got some UK news. Uh, Prime Minister May is due to speak today regarding the Brexit. And I'm sure we'll get some European uh, counter speakers uh, come through from that as well. But um, that uh, may set the tone. So the, Euro, the, the, the pound may be a bit more of a, a mover. And we've got Carney speaking today at uh, 10 o'clock as well. Um, it's due, due to speak about emergence of cryptocurrencies may have a little effect but I don't expect too much to be uh, uh, popping in there but uh, as I said be aware of these uh, expiry sort of levels 20, 22, uh, 50, 21, 50 and uh, 21, uh, 21 I think it was a quick, a quick look through here um, 21, 20 21 20 21 50 and 22 50 huge amounts uh, sort of uh, significant numbers uh, one half billion three billion 2.9 billion so uh, quite significant numbers around those levels and they can get be protected so just watch out okay um so looking at the shorter time frames though what uh, what for this morning it does look like it's running into this 50 and selling off which is a possibility one thing we are pretty close to is uh, the monthly pivot just above us uh, which uh, uh, may be a draw so I'm just sort of watching what happens uh, we could as I say sell through to the daily pivot that's just below us um, we've just uh, got some support just before those but uh, that in itself I'd watch carefully if it starts selling through well um, we just may see a continuation I'm not particularly bearish on the US dollar uh, so uh, I do expect it may be uh, gain a little bit more strength but with a little news out on this pairing um, as I say we could end up with a little bit more chop uh, as we run through today uh, the pound pound nothing significant there in terms of option wise but it's plenty as I say in terms of uh, the uh, uh, trees of May speech will uh, no doubt create some volatility small day yesterday uh, just pitched into a new low hammer um, Again, we've got the monthly pivot above us, whether that will be uh, coming to play. Well, unless she does some rousing speech, I don't think it will. Um, at the moment, it's, it's, uh, we saw how consolidated it was yesterday. Um, I think we could end up with that. The speech might set the tone, and uh, there is the potential, of course, we could continue selling off on the pound. There's a lot of unease about it. But uh, we'll see what see what happens. Really, as uh, technical new uh, fundamental news, uh, there's nothing out that will really. Um, oh, sorry, big pardon. Construction PMI uh, at nine thirty this morning may give a little blip, but um, it's not the biggest of movers. And I think with May speaking, that <laughs> that may uh, be the uh, key for today. Okay, uh, dolly yen. Well, uh, dollar yen um, sold off, uh, strengthening against US dollar here. Maybe money going to safety, um, as, a, as opposed to much else. Uh, it is approaching double bottom territory. Real a bitty the old day yesterday. Um, again, we've got monthly pivots above, but I think it's quite a long way away. At one stage yesterday, it looked like it was going to uh, shoot up there um, and. Uh, go get but uh, at the moment it doesn't even look like it will get back towards its daily pivot uh, we'll see if it starts breaking through that eight well the 21s would be on uh, and maybe the daily pivot um, let's just have a look there's some sl no, divergence has worked off it's broken through the prior lows there was divergence in the Asian session there let's come back to MACD just check no no divergence so there we are um, 
uh, that's worked off and at the moment well it could just end up a game of consolidation I was just looking 107.25 okay right okay that's the yen let's have a look at the Aussie dollar okay no significant news coming out now as it would have happened if it was going to come out um, it's struggling a little bit again a bit of a hammer put in yesterday so potential reversal bar um, messy around the lows here um, so far um, and very bitty tight range uh, daily pivot not far below which uh, would would expect to be seen to be hit however it may come up for the r1 first but uh, no guide guide there at all uh, steer clear of that at the moment it's just chopping it needs to give us a bit more idea and the canadian dollar is no different here so uh, we are left really uh, to euro currencies now the canadian dollar sitting here now it may pick up to something and starts start breaking down i mean it's uh, put a shooting star in there again uh, we're sort of seeing this sort of stalling phase with the uh, with the dollars of strength um, and it may may just uh, um, start breaking down it's I'm just looking at this hourly shooting star it's sort of um, oh, it doesn't really it's not setting up too much at all it's consolidating here maybe we've got sort of some further upside it's very bitty we've got daily pivot there just above us but you can see how bitty it is sorry I had a lot of regression channels and things on here uh, yesterday nothing i mean it just may run it back into that regression channel it's just about to get rid of it it may run back towards that yet yeah. um any sort of sell-off i'd really be looking below this 50 ma to be uh interested uh it's uh and, and then, then see where where we'd go pivots very pinched today so you may get ignored there is a bit of news at 130 it's the uh, monthly gdp figure which uh rarely creates a lot of volatility but can create some volatility so there we go. That's it for today. Have a great one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.